Hey guys, welcome to another video for the K20 Pro, also known as Rafael Rafael In, and this is a wonderful device for a lot of reasons. And Pixel Experience is a wonderful ROM for a lot of reasons. Now today we are talking about the latest update of Pixel Experience or Pixel Experience Plus, which is based on Android 11. We will have a quick look at the ROM, at the benchmark numbers, and I will give you my initial impressions, which should clarify your question that you always have: should you update or not? But before you get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other, so join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. my name is Kalash, let's get going. All right, so right off the bat, what do we have here? Pixel Experience Android 11 updated on the 20th of October, 2021. Now you do have the regular edition, which is 1.5 gigs, and you do have the plus edition, which is 1.5 gigs. You have the source change log over here. So if you go and open this link, you will see that as a ROM Pixel Experience has had a lot of changes. Now it does say the last ride. That means after this, they're going to move to Android 12. We hope everyone is doing well and trying out all the Android 12 GSIs floating around XD and Telegram. This is this, 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 this. And we'll only receive Android security patch updates as we move focus towards Android 12. So yeah, they are coming towards Android 12. That is good. If you talk about the device change log, you do see over here, you have the October security patch updated translations other fixes right now what do we have here in notes always make an android backup be safe use latest android 11 firmware for your device the rom has g apps included uses oss vendor perf calf kernel and dim layer or dim player whatever you want to call it now we'll get rid of all the notifications that we have and you do see that i have a sim card inserted in this particular phone that's because i believe in testing everything that i give to you guys before i actually make a update or a comment on that particular update now let's talk about pixel experience as a whole pixel experience as a whole on most of the devices minus the iphone of course if you talk about the poco x3 pro the mi 11x and the redmi k20 pro even the poco f1 for that matter the rom has been substantial the rom has been great smooth without a lot of issues a couple of months back i did see that these guys were changing kernels left right and center they were trying arrow kernel they were trying their own kernel sometimes they were trying different kernels and stuff like that so let's actually first go to settings over here let's go to about phone and let's go to the android version which is 11 first october security patch and the kernel is a perf kernel yes so they did mention that they are using a calf based perf kernel so that should be good now on the home screen you have a very very pixel-esque look from the top to bottom you have pure android 11 sort of a look you do have a built-in screen recorder which allows you to record built-in microphone and device audio so if you click on start you do get a counter over here and then the screen recording starts now remember this is a device which comes with a 60 hertz display we've had development wherein the display can be overclocked up to 81 hertz but we are not doing that in this particular rom because it's not supported but even on the 60 hertz this is what i like about pixel experience and you know i'll tell you this a lot of people make a big deal about gaming they make a big deal about certain features but trust me something that will matter to you the most is the scrolling around the rom the launching of apps you know the smoothness the animation so these are the things throughout the day which you're going to have a look at multiple times for example i use google feed a lot so it really really matters a lot to me how smooth or jitter free the google feed is and this is by far one of the best experiences that i've had on a 60 hertz display device so pixel experience doing a great job at scrolling even app icon animations just have a look they are smooth as butter they just work the way they are supposed to work now apart from this you have a very basic app drawer and i didn't even realize that the screen recording is still going on so another thing to note over here is that despite having the screen recording activated you don't have any jitters any stutters this is by far one of the smoothest roms that i've seen after screen recording being enabled you do have your assistant shortcuts over here then you have your google search bar from where you can launch assistant again you can launch google lens from here and you can directly go to you know google search from here you have your classic app drawer and if you go to home settings you will see that you have a pixel launcher which works like a charm 
and then you have your widgets over here typical android 11 widgets which work as expected moving on you have styles and wallpaper over here you can customize a lot of things and you also have access to google's own wallpapers different themes and stuff like that there you go and trust me these google wallpapers look something else they look really really nice and that is good to see now as you can see over here you have the screen recording available so let's have a look Just see how smooth the recording is, right? So the screen recording is doing a great job and the ROM overall is doing a great job. Now another good thing about Pixel Experience or Pixel Experience Plus is this ROM doesn't really come with a lot of bloatware. So let's actually go to settings over here and have a look. Now in Pixel Experience, as always, you don't really have any bloatware at all. Everything works as expected. Not a lot of settings, not a dedicated menu to, you know, go ahead and customize the device, customize the ROM, this, that. You do have your basic customization, but Pixel Experience keeps it simple. And that is what they're doing with the last Android update as well. Everything is working as expected. As you can see, you have your Wi-Fi connected devices options in network and internet. So if you go over here, these are two of my Wi-Fi's, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Both of them are working fine. You have your 5 gigahertz and you see over here, we have your 2.4 gigahertz as well. So Wi-Fi is working absolutely fine. I don't have any issues with connectivity, making calls. You do have your Android 11 styled apps and notifications over here. You have all the AT applications that is including system and non-system applications. You have conversations, notifications, as you can see over here, notification history. So you can go ahead and turn this on as well. That is something neat. Recently sent, you have bubbles, or allow apps to show bubbles. So that is a feature which is still getting caught up on by a lot of companies and apps. So soon we will have full utilization of that. And you have these additional, you know, notification settings as well. Under assistant, you have dedicated assistant settings. You have your screen time over here, which is, you know, shown in a very, very organized way. And as you can see in screen time, I have been doing some stuff like Battlegrounds, Mobile India, CPUs, Rotling, Geekbench. So I have been testing this wrong for you guys before I actually go ahead and make a video about it. And moving on, you have your permission manager where you can allow or deny permission specifically for the type of permission that the app has requested. And then you have something called a special app access, right? Now moving on, if we have a look, you have your battery section, which is something very, very important, which is the optimization profiles, also known as thermal profiles. Now, the reason thermal profiles are important because they give you a ton of options like no optimization, performance, browser, camera, dialer, games, streaming applications. So this is a performance application like benchmark. So you can go ahead and select that. For example, you have Antutu, Battlegrounds, Mobile India have selected games. So these optimization profiles actually make difference to the performance and that is something really, really neat, right? Now, the last full charge was three hours back. I've used the screen for one hour and 19 minutes. And as you can see over here, we still have quite a lot of battery available. You do have your adaptive battery, which is working like a charm. So the battery backup is pretty decent. We still have 76% battery and the charging speeds were pretty insane. On the 27 watt charger, the charging was working just fine for me as well. Now moving on, if you have a look at display, you have the usual stuff you can turn on or off your dark theme. You have night light, adaptive brightness. You do have your live display wherein you can enable anti-flicker. You have your reading mode, color calibration and picture adjustments. Now, Pixel Experience for a simple ROM, the amount of control it is giving it to you on the Redmi K20 Pro is pretty amazing. They are doing a really, really good job. For example, if I go to display over here, go to colors, let's go to boosted. Just look at this part it actually makes a difference to the preview and that is the reason it works really really well you have to tap to wake tap to sleep you have prevent accidental wake up or pocket mode so all the bells and whistles out there with a simple android feel and look under sound if you go to advanced you do have the mi sound enhancer and you can go ahead and enable hi-fi as well so that feature is available to you now you have storage privacy you have this complete Android 11 UI for privacy and you have device personalization services, autofill, ads, usage and diagnostics, right? You have accessibility, digital well-being, Google system and under system, 
You have your pop-up camera settings with different LED settings and different sounds. You do have your quickly open camera, system navigation, prevent ringing, power menu, advanced restart, and you have your swipe to screenshot as well. So you can swipe to take a screenshot and it works really, really well. There you go. You can go ahead and edit this as well, right? So, you know, all the bells and whistles, all the features that you would ask for in a custom ROM are present. They work just fine. One of my elite testers, Pratik, has also installed this ROM. I have personally played games on this and the gaming news is also pretty decent. So let me know in the comment section, you know, should I go ahead and do a gaming review on this or not? But before that, I've got a couple of benchmark numbers to show you. We have CPU throttle test and Geekbench because for some reason, n to benchmark refuses to run on this. So let's quickly go to say our photos application. There you go. You have your CPU throttle test, CPU throttle to 91% of its max performance. And the average score was 174, 810 GIPS. So, you know, that is not the highest score, but that's pretty decent. Moving on, if we talk about Geekbench over here. So if you go to history, 726 single core, 2502 multi-core. So pretty average and decent score for the Redmi K20 Pro. Now to sum it up all, this is a wonderful ROM. Pixel Experience has the latest October security patch. It works like a charm. You can use your banking applications, Gcam, ANX camera. You can use a custom kernel. So, you know, this is a go-to ROM which you can flash on your K20 Pro and forget about it. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about Pixel Experience or Pixel Experience Plus. I'm really excited for the Android 12 version of this ROM. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.